Here we're going to see how centripetal force acts on an object uh, to move it in a circular path, and we're going to see that the centripetal force acts toward the center of the path. The object that we're going to move in a circular path is just a penny. And we are going to apply the force with this hanger, which has been into this uh, shape, into this diamond shape. I'm going to balance the penny right on the end of the hanger. And what I'm going to do is swing it in a circle. I'm going to go ahead and do this so you can see that it can actually be done. Pretty easy to get it started, but it's a lot harder to bring it to a stop and keep the penny on the hanger. Let's see if I can do it. And so what we've seen here is that the penny is forced to move in a circular path by the force of the hanger, which is directed to the center of the path. Let's look once more at the force that was acting on the penny to make it move in the circular path. That force was supplied by the tip of the hanger, which is pushing up in this case and toward my finger, which will be the center of the path. But as the hanger moves, the tip of the hanger moves also. It's no longer pointed up, but it's continuing to point toward my finger. And even when it's up here, the hanger is pointed down now, which is toward my finger. So that force always points to the center of the circular path. And that is the force which holds the penny in circular motion as I swing the hanger.